Also, once you have the Visual Studio code installed in your local, do not forget to install the Microsoft Quantum Development Kit for Visual Studio code. It's an extension that is very much needed uh, to run Microsoft Azure Quantum in the Visual Studio code. So, uh, all you have to do is just search for uh, this Microsoft Quantum Development Kit QDK for Visual Studio code. I'll provide a link of this in the resources section but if you find this online just by google go ahead and click install and this would open the or this would give you an option a pop-up you can choose to open the visual studio code and then it's pretty straightforward uh, let's let this open and then we have ta -da, ta -da, come on Right. Okay, looks like it is installed. I will go ahead and search for uh, QDK and then yes, we have the Microsoft Quantum Development Kit for Visual Studio Code and it uh, uh, should be uh, enabled or installed. Then now it's since disabled and uninstalled, it's uh, uh, enabled right if, if it shows enable click on enable and then that would enable uh, Microsoft QDK uh, Visual Studio code so you have to do this additional step as well to get up and running to use uh, Microsoft Azure quantum in Visual Studio code